you guys are starting to see me out more and more. That's because I'm training some. I'm training somebody to uh, take care of my printings and stuff like that for me. You know, speak it, Bonnie. So now I'm just messing with you guys. But yeah, I got somebody that I'm training that's gonna be doing a lot of printing for me while I'm out and about and still building a brand and uh, you know doing a lot of service calls and a lot of service calls that I'll be doing. A lot of people are not gonna want to put it on social media. They don't want other companies knowing what type of printers they got or whatever. In case I mention their names and you know my link in this bio, whatever. But you put two and two together, you see what type of printers I print print on and I talk about. So, but it's all good. So, like I said, at the end of the day, hey, whatever folks your boat, the customers always right. <laughs> As they say in the business world, the customers always right. You know, damn well, some of the motherfuckers don't be right, though. But, hey, it is what it is. But we about to get back to um, FOM, DTF, headquarters. And we're going to um, see what goes on there. I only had a couple of orders that came in today. It was uh, I had a lot of orders within a couple of weeks. But I knocked those out and had a couple of ones that came in. So I trusted my trusty helper to knock those out for me. If they have any other issues or have anything that come up that seems foreign to contact me on video. You know, don't tell me about it. Let me see what you're talking about. So yeah, that's one of the things I do. <coughs> <coughs> I tell a lot of my customers or certain people that, you know, video, donate to their channel on live video calls. I tell them to, um, well, want information I tell them to live video call me because it's better for you to show me what you're talking about, you know, and hands-on and visual is the best teacher to me. So that's what I'll be doing, cousins. But for all the young youth, 14, 13, 18, you guys are the future. You guys have a big say-so of what goes on in the community within the side of the clothing industry because all the clothing are designed for the youth and for younger crowds because that's what older people like to wear too. So you guys, you guys watching this channel, you guys need to start looking at more of the content, more of the videos and learn how you can make your own designs if you're not doing it. If you are incorporated, reach out to me and try to piece up with one of your partners to get y'all one of these printers I got and start y'all business. You know, or anybody else want to start a business, you know, peace up. You can put your money together and become investors and investment into, you know, the business. So that's the main thing. It's all about trying to build building blocks and have goals set and take one of those goals and say, I'm going to reach that. I'm going to go forth with that today. And then just write and jot down your goals and write a checklist. Check that off each list. I mean, check your goals off each list that you set for yourself, you accomplished. And then you keep nitpicking at it. That whole list you ever be checked off. And all you gotta do is rinse, wash, and repeat and, and, and repeat the same format to build another company if that's what you're trying to do. But outside of this, credit and having some type of working capital for your business or for yourself, that's very important. You know, some people finance. That's what a lot of these companies do. Or you see these big old companies offering these these big old production printers, 16,000, 15,000, 20,000, 8,000, 5,000. They're offering finance. So, you know, it's, it's a good thing if you do have your credit in check because you can just finance everything and pay a monthly fee and just work at the company. So you don't got to have that big bag. You don't got to have that large stack of cash that you can just go throw into a business. You can go ahead and finance your business. You know, I'm not saying nothing wrong with that, but you got once you get whatever amount paid off, then that's when you actually start making some real money that you can actually see. You're going to make cash. It all depends on what type of clientele you have coming in as well. The marketing side of things, you know, promotion. It's a lot of variables, but I hear, I hear, 
I here trying to give you guys information that you guys can try to like utilize for your benefit. So at the end of the day, it's more than what you guys just see within this DTF printing and back world behind this front world. It's a dangerous, devious game and a lot of competitors and a lot of cutthroats and a lot of people who will try to make it seem like what you do is it's not of DTF printing like this one Kermit the Frog voice 31,000 subscriber fake channel fake reviews or however you want to say it guy that's up here trying to make it seem like he's just the best and knows everything and don't own no printers trying to sub trying to just start a business and have a showroom floor for somebody to come put their printers in there and you get you a cheesy commission off that and then you try to come and say, hey, you're not doing DTL printing. How do you know if you're being educated on DTL printing? Didn't show your printer. But the printer took a crap on you or something, and then you decide to go with a whole other brand and decide that you know about, nah, that's not how it works. But I don't make these videos, like I say, the shit is put on anybody. But hey, man, I know what I know. And I debate anybody who think what I'm saying it's not true. We can have a friendly debate. We can talk about resolutions. We can talk about DPI. We can talk about motherboards. We can talk about printhead, printhead specs. We can talk about the future, where it's gearing towards. Why is resolution so important? What's the, what's the importance of having DTF printing? How silk screening is DTF printing at its base form? And how they took screen printing and made it and transitioned into rev and, and made it into a more futurized form and that's why we have DTF printing so screen printing is the mecca of everything and you gotta have skill to be screen printing it's not just getting some colors of screen print you gotta know about it's certain different techniques you gotta do that's why some people quality lasts it looks more better than others you know but it is a longer process that's all don't worry about the Jakes and the Jake Cats and the people who think they're really doing it. They're not. I'm going to leave you guys with that. If I said anything that makes sense, play it back, make it make sense. And I'm out with nothing.